October 27th, 2006. It's graduation day. Paul, security, really good friend, comes to the door to pick us up. This is what I'm wearing. Yeah, uh, wait. <laughs> can, we, can we check the time? Why? Mm. Well, y'all told me 5.34. Cause you missed your late. We're in a rush. Oh my God, we cannot be late. Like 20 minutes to get dressed. Okay, I'm changing now. You gotta go. I'm probably gonna cry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, you gotta go now. Oh goodness gracious. Just Bye, Dre, I'll miss Hello. you. Hello. But last minute, I remember that I forgot my lip gloss. <gasps> my lip gloss. I had to stop it and run into the house to go get it. Right here, found it. Thanks, D. Oh man, I'm nothing without lip gloss to me. <laughs> I'm quite nervous. I'm more nervous going to this than I am going on stage. It starts to hit me what's about to happen. I'm really excited to see some of my friends from school. Oh goodness, that, is that it? Oh God, I'm gonna walk in with like a camera crew. <laughs> so we get through the rain and we get into the hall. We head downstairs and I see all my classmates. Good, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. You too. It's a little bit of pandemonium. Hello, Hello. Keisha. Yes. It'd be under a Harper. We're all running around getting our robes on and teachers are just trying to arrange us. So there's yelling and there's screaming. This is a tight spot here. So you gotta be quiet, but you have to listen. We gotta get people in order. I had the robe on and I felt like a real student. You wanna see my ensemble? Pose. We get in the line and we get ushered to our seating arrangement. <laughs> I had to just try to keep my excitement and contain it all in. Keisha Harper, Ontario Secondary School Diploma. My name gets called, it's the big moment, and a lot of sacrifices went in, a lot of support went in from all those teachers, from my mother, from my family. Here's my diploma. It's a lot different um, being an artist and being in high school, because you have to fly all over the place and still finish your homework on time. It's a big accomplishment, so I really felt it that day. <laughs> Graduation is finished. I take a bunch of pictures with my friends before I leave, sign some autographs. Sure. I get in the car. Oh, I feel so good. And all of a sudden, I start acting a fool. To the left, left, to the right, right, oh, oh. Because all this weight is lifted off my shoulders. I just closed the first chapter of my life. It feels good. And what kind of chapter are you opening now? Who knows? Uh -huh. I don't even have to tell you anymore. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, KMTV, it's done. Graduation was great. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Have a good night. Bye. November 1st, 2006. It's the day of the big show. We're off the sound check. I'm excited to see the venue. Oh, we're gonna kill it. I'm so, I'm so scared. We have a little bit of drama. Uh, getting my set on the stage. Uh, this is not gonna work. No. No, 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 no. The situation wasn't ideal. Me and the dancers had to figure out a way to be able to perform and do our, our show with, you know, this much space on the stage. This is crazy. What's, this couldn't have been avoided at all. Things like that kind of come up on you. Live music, live shows, live problems, never ends. This is what it's about. This is my life. This is my career. Are you good, Keisha? Yeah. This is the drama you have to go through. Like, the fans get to see a great show, but they don't know that we just spent hours cussing at each other. We figured it all out, we moved things, and we did it in good spirit. Let's go! We're in the car, and we're all just getting mentally prepared for the big show. We can never focus. It's like our first, like, big show in a minute. This was my first show back in Toronto in a really, really long time. <laughs> Buzzing is this thing that you do to, you know, rehearse your vocals. And I'm pretty sure MTV was thinking I was crazy. It's probably the most annoying thing in the world because it's just in your ear and it's just all up in it. So we get ready for the show, we say a prayer. The stage belongs to us. We're going on stage in two seconds. I'm really, really nervous. We've worked hard for this, so we're on our way. And we get ready to rock the stage. Put your hands together like this. 
So the section of the show, it's the freestyling section, and that's when I introduce my dancers. All I saw were my dancers wilding out, and they just came out of themselves. They were looking like real divas, and I was seeing things that I'd never seen before. I was like, look at my babies. <laughs> I, I, was, oh, I almost really? said, like, okay, I, I, said my, I said my babies, and then I, when you came on too, I was like, oh. I was so proud of them, and I couldn't believe they did that. I love you guys. Oh, I love oh, you guys. My, my, my the show was fantastic. The fans were amazing. We were really, really proud. It was a great night. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, MTV, for coming with me on this crazy journey. It was a great experience. I'm so happy you guys were a part of it. And thank you, I had a good time. When we sing, who, who's ever saying you think you know, but you have no idea? <laughs> I'm an MTV fan, like. You think you know, hey!